tonight is our third game of this between the visiting Tulsa Drillers division Midland Rockhounds. <clears throat> well, anyway, guys, this is the final game in the Tulsa Drillers series. It is our third game. Anyway, we are fixing to get ready to present our starting lineup. <clears throat> the series is new tomorrow night with the Frisco Rough Riders. And we are getting ready to go. So let's go ahead and present tonight's starting lineups. First for the visiting Tulsa Drillers. Batting first in right field is Ken Milano. Milano in right. Second left field is Andy Hale. He'll bat second for the Drillers. Hale at left. <clears throat> Designated hitter is Josh Wendell. He'll bat third. Wendell, the DH. Charlie Culberson will be third in the third base for the Drillers. Culberson, the fourth. <clears throat> Fifth is Raymond Palidia, Palidia at first. Lamont Finley will bat six for the Drillers. Finley at center. Shortstop, Bale, the shortstop. Terrell Jarvis will be eighth in the Driller lineup. Jarvis at center. Denny Correctly will be Second base for the Drillers. Kareki as second. <clears throat> and the starting pitcher for the Tulsa Drillers this evening. David Chung. Chung, tonight's starting Drillers pitcher. And now the starting lineup for your Midland Rockhounds. <clears throat> Batting first, we have our designated hitter, Tommy Brown. Brown, the D.H. Second baseman is Brian Lopez. He'll bat second for the Rockhound lineup. Lopez at second. Matt Olson will bat third for the Rockhounds. Olson at first. Corey Lovett will be fourth in the Rockhound lineup. Lovett at center field. Matt McBride is batting fifth for the Rockhounds. McBride at center. Shortstop is Jimmy Comstock. Comstock at short. Third baseman is Carlos Reyes. He'll bat seventh for the Rockhounds. Reyes at third. Left field is Owen Lamb. <clears throat> He'll bat eighth for the Rockhounds. Lamb at left. Batting ninth at right field is Will Nixon. Nixon at right. Starting pitcher for the good guys for the Midland Rockhounds, Felix Guillen. Guillen, tonight's starting pitcher. And now let's send it to our favorite guy in the, in the booth. We go to Matt Vasgersian. <clears throat> Ooh. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Tulsa Drillers and the Midland Rockhounds. Live baseball here on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. <coughs> Felix Guillen, the right-hander from the state of Wisconsin, is on the mound here. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, he's got four pitches to work with and uses them all at all different times in the game. So he keeps hitters off balance and gives you a lot to think about. So striding forward now, Ken Milano. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Ken 
Milano. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. <coughs> the wind up and the 0 1. Zero. Way in front of a great slider that time. <coughs> Here comes the nothing and two pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone to open up the ball game. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. What's this club need to focus on this evening, H? I think the key to this game is you got a string hit this lineup, and if they can continue to put the pressure on one guy to the next guy, just keep adding on the hits, they're going to score some runs. So stepping in, Andy Hale. Dear Way God. behind that pitch, it's 0-1. Game time temperature tonight, 62 degrees, but should drop into the 50s before we're done. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Fouled back. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. He's ready. Here's the first offering. <coughs> Josh Wendell <coughs> swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Well, if you're wondering what kind of night he might have, he's giving us good signs. The first three hitters, he's gotten ahead of. <clears throat> does that, could be a great night. That's in there in my throat a little bit. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. See what happens when you work fast, you stay aggressive, and you come right <clears throat> after guys. Man, you get great results. Two quick outs, and now he's 0-2 on this hitter. That's popped up, out towards short right field. Lopez is there for it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So a fairly painless top of the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. David Chung, the Taiwan native, gets the starting nod. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, he uses both the four-seam and the two-seam fastball. And what I like about it is the movement that he's able to create with both those fastballs. <coughs> And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hit back up the middle. To his left, Bell. And he's retired here, one away. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team's starting lineup. Harold, what do they need to focus on in this one? Well, Matt, they got a great pitcher on the mound. So to me, my philosophy changes when I know he's throwing. I only need a couple runs. So I get that leadoff guy on. I may move him up and drive in a run every time I get an opportunity. And then it just relaxes him on the mound as well, knowing he's got a couple runs early and let him do his thing. You talk about a free swinger. First pitch, and he hits a ball that's down and away and gets a base hit. Man, that's not what I'm looking for first pitch, but I got to tip my cap to him. He executed it. Into the box now, Matt Olson seared down the first baseline, but a foul ball here, 0-1. <coughs> <0 -1. coughs> the 0-1 took away no luck. In a double play situation, that's the location you want a guy to swing at. More than likely, he's going to beat it into the ground. Trying to go the other way. This is looped out toward third. But gloved by the third baseman for the out. Batting fourth. Into the box Batting now. Corey Lovett. Lovett. From the stretch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. hope he's okay fortunately he's able to stick with it and get the out at first and that'll put an end to the inning an inning in the books tonight still scoreless here on MLB Network 
So striding in, Charlie Culberson. He'll start driller, things out here in a tie ball game. Six, Charlie Culberson. Sends that one out of play for strike one. <laughs> oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Okay, here's the defense for the home team, brought to you by Majestic. And let's look down at that third first baseman. Basement. That looks a oh, long ways to first Padilla. base, doesn't it? He makes it look easy. He can go into the whole foul ball and throw a ball across the diamond on a dot. He's got one of the best arms you will ever see. In time to first, and there are two away. Cutting check at the plate, Lamont Finley. Finley. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Matt, that ball's right down the middle. It looked like he wasn't even going to offer at it. Some guys don't mind taking the first pitch, and they even feel comfortable when they're down 0-1. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball? And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Settling in now, Matt McBride. They'll start Leading us out here one. in the home <coughs> half of the second. Matt McBride. Into the windup and the pitch. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. The windup and the 0-1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. <coughs> now we got an 0-2 count, Matt. And I tell you what, so impressive. He is executing his game plan, going right on the outside half and exploiting those weaknesses. And that'll get down for a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out their half of the second inning. Well, he got jammed on that one right there, and he's just strong enough to muscle it in the right field for the base hit. It's going to be a line drive tomorrow in the paper. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Now a ball grounded to short, this could be two. One there, on to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Batting seventh, third baseman. Carlos Digging in, Carlos Reyes. Reyes. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Pitch ball out, one, no nothing doing. comes 1 and 0. Oh. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. It's a ball and a strike. <clears throat> well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Stepping in, Sean Bell. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading, leading off the Delta. third after the Watch first up. six guys in the lineup Sean have been retired Bell. in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. And a close play at first, but a great stretch that time as they get him by a step for out number one. Left side, Reyes has it. Throw in time at first for out number two. So digging in now, Denny Kirecki, two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. <coughs> Pretty much an obligatory take that time. <coughs> yeah, when the first two guys in the inning make first pitch outs, you really don't have much choice. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Three. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Three. 
digging in the switch hitter, Owen Lamb. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Lamb. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Now the pitch. And boy, this at bat is not starting off well as he's behind 0-2 now. <clears throat> oh, man. He just tied him up in knots right there. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. A little bouncer. But that one rolls foul. <laughs> Now another 0-2. Sent on the ground out to second. Kurecki loves it, and a good throw gets him one gone. Batting ninth. Right fielder. Standing in, Will Nixon. Nixon. Into the windup and the pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Oh, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Designated hitter. Ready for another Tommy chance. Brown. Tommy Brown. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. Now batting. Second baseman, Brian Lopez. Into the box, Bryant Lopez. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. Hale oh. has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Three innings complete, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Digging in to try it again, Ken Milano back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. This ball will be chopped foul. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. A swing, and it's popped in the air back behind first. Olsen ranging into the outfield, and he makes the catch for the second out. The batter, number eight. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Josh Wendell comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hot shot on the ground is short. Comstock scoops it up, throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Can't start 12. On now to the bottom half of inning number four, and we are tied nothing nothing. Riding in once again, Matt Olson. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue, or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring uh -oh. pitcher's duel for once. Uh -oh. Now, Matt, that was a fastball. He, he had to have made up his mind that he's going to swing as soon as he releases it. That wasn't even a breaking pitch, and he was hacking. Swing and a miss as he uh -oh. ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Digging in for his second at bat. Corey Lovett. Go for one for him Corey here in this one. Love it. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Culberson has to look over his shoulder, but he's got it for round number two. Now batting. At the plate, Matt McBride. He reached on a single in his first try. Into the windup and the pitch. Down the third baseline. And that's through for a hit. Well, that first pitch single right there, something we haven't seen much this now game. Batting. Maybe they'll be more first aggressive down. now, jumping first pitch, Tom instead stop. of finding themselves in the hole. A lot of the at-bats we've seen in this game so far.
stepping in now, Jimmy Comstock. As it's on the ground toward the hole. That's third for a base hit, and he's one for two now. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Breaking his heart, Matt. Breaking his heart. He got two quick outs. He's thinking he's going to cruise through this thing, and now look at him. Boom, boom, base hits coming back at you. That's why you have to complete the inning. In now, Carlos Reyes. Goodness, 0-2 now. What a good pitch. He went way out of the zone to try to swing and catch up to that slider. Now you got him thinking. It's 0-2. You can throw him anything you want. <clears throat> as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We played four full, and we are tied nothing-nothing. Stepping up now, Charlie Culberson comes Leading into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Charlie Culberson. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Started that swing a bit too early. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Nixon has a long run, but he takes charge for out number two. A look at our line score to this point, and I'm almost certainly jinxing things by pointing it out, but it's worth mentioning that zero in the hit column through two outs here in the fifth. In now, Lamont Finley. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hey. Takes a look at one catching oh, the outside count. corner. I really like how he's getting ahead early in the count. <clears throat> he's pitching aggressively, and what that does, it holds the pitch count down. <clears throat> right. Waits on it. And that ends the inning. 15 straight, he's retired to start the ball game. Home half of the fifth coming up, and we still have no score. Coming to the plate now, Owen Lamb. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Owen Lamb. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Here's a hard hit ball that'll be caught out there at short. That ball was smoked, but he's gone now nonetheless to start right the home fielder. fifth. Will. Nixon. So coming to the plate, Will Nixon. Into the windup and the pitch. Squared that one up just a little late. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. And he makes the throw to first. Nixon is retired, two down now. Now batting. Digging in once again, Tommy Brown. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Not even close on that swing. No balls in a strike. With two outs, they're not playing him to bunt here. And he didn't show it there, but I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't at least thinking about it. He handles the bat pretty well, and he can definitely run. to short. Bell is right there. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. Five innings complete, and we still have no score. Striding in once again, Sean Bell comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Drilled right back up the middle. Throw to first, gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. 
Hey, when a guy on the mound is working on a no-no this late, every play is exciting and stressful for the fielders. We'll see if they can continue making the plays behind him. Terrell Jarvis is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Fouled back. One out, nobody on. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Lamb ranging back. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. How dear. <clears throat> so a solo shot here to left center field. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Yep, this is why you just can't rely on one pitch. These are the best hitters in the world. And when they know what's coming, they're going to jump all over it, just like he did there. Into the box now, Denny Kirecki. A shot down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul, it's 0-1. Man, he's flirting with danger. He gave up a home run on that very same pitch. And this time he comes right back with it. He better be careful. He Aye. takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Ready for another shot now. Ken Milano, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Grounded to short. Comstock comes up with it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So they pick up a run on the solo home run as that will give them the lead. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. Tulsa's out in front here, one to nothing. Ready for another chance? Bryant Lopez. He's one for two in the ball game. Bryant Lopez. Now this is chopped fouled at home plate. It's 0-1. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more pitch-to-contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working Aww. so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. First baseman. Digging in to try it again, Matt Olson. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. And here's a ball hit in the air. In there, the base hit. It's like magic or something. He's given up a boatload of hits, but they haven't been able to chase a runner home. And that's just another base hit in a long line of many. Seems like he's been pitching from the stretch the entire game, but somehow he's still got a shutout going. We'll see how long he can make this last. Digging in once again, Corey Lovett. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And they're able to get the ball in quickly, so he'll be held to a single with one away. <laughs> well, for such a young hitter, that was a nice piece of hitting the opposite field. Nice to see him take the ball the other way. Standing in now, Matt McBride, as he swings and looks it in the air out to shallow right field. And that's going to get the job done. It's a base hit. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Jimmy Comstock. It's about time. Here we go. We got a chance. Stepping in now, Jimmy Comstock, as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. <clears throat> Here's the 0-1. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And another foul ball. Come on, Rock Counts, we could do this. Here comes another 0-2. Another one sent foul. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. 
ready with another 0-2. And he got him. So two outs now, and with one big out still to go, they may be able to get out of this mess with the lead intact. Third, now at the Come plate, on, boys. Carlos he's got bases Reyes. loaded. He's got a chance to tie this in. ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats in left. Come on, Trying Reyes. The lead. Here's the delivery. Oh, this at bat is quickly ah. moving from bad to worse. It's 0 and 2 now. Well, here we sit, two on, two outs, two strikes. <clears throat> Look, they start off looking good this inning, and it'd be very deflating if they don't pick up something here. A lot more pressure on him than he thought going up there. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners, and the side is retired. Back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Back here for Texas League Baseball on MLB Network. It's on to the seventh inning now, but before the inning gets started, let's fill you in on what you may have missed. It's our game summary to this point. Ready once again, Andy Hale. And guys, seventh inning something. already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's Andy been flying by. Hale. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, well, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's That's resulted in a game that could really go Josh either way Wendell. in these late innings. Josh Wendell is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. That pitch right there, Matt. 100% every hitter, listen to this, every hitter in the game, he's throwing a first pitch strike too. That's ridiculous. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Striding into the box, Charlie Culberson. He struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. And here's a ball hit in the air. McBride has a play, and that's the third out. Nothing doing here this half. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Drillers lead it one to nothing. At the plate, Owen <coughs> Lamb. He'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. Owen Lamb. This one's flared out toward left. Hale coming in. One away. Ah, oh, come on. Stepping in and ready for another shot. <coughs> Nixon. Nixon. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. And now a pitch on the way. Uh, and him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0 and 2. Never saw the seventh this inning is before. one of those innings when you might start seeing some warning signs from your starters that they're reaching the end of their rope, but that's not the case here. He looks really solid to me. Skied into straightaway right. Milano waits on it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting. But Stepping in, Tommy, Tommy Brown. Brown. Come on, Brown, do something for us. We're losing this. Into the windup and the pitch. This is hit softly to third. And that ah. will conclude matters here in the seventh. He's angry. <clears throat> Digging in, Ramon Padilla. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. Ramon and this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Lovett is going to get the inning. Now batting. Now with the plate, Lamont Finley. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Hit the other way out toward right field. Nixon waits on it, and that's the second out of the inning. Now batting into the box Georgia. now Sean Sean Bell no Bell. hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Hey. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. We're 
seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight, and mechanically, he looks really consistent and fluid to him. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. <clears throat> Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. That's it to short. Does he have another 1-2-3 inning? He does. Eight in a row he's set down, and the side is retired. We're running out of innings. We've got to think fast. Drillers are up. one nothing. They Stepping could win in, this one Bryant and win the three-game series. Things off here in this one-run contest. And now action in the bullpen as their closer Bryant. starts to get loose bullpen. out there. High in the air out to center field. Moving under it, Finley. Miss it. He's got it no. one away. Dang it. Now batting, first baseman. Coming to the plate uh, now, Matt Olson. Olson. He's working on a one-for-three thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Slice down the left side, but foul. Bases are empty, one man out. <clears throat> and this is chopped foul at the plate. He's in the hole now, down 0 and 2. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. Swing and a loop of the left. Hale will get there with ease as he puts it away for route number two. Now batting. Center fielder. Digging Corey in and looking for more. Lovett. Corey Lovett. Into the windup and the pitch. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. And this is fouled straight back. This is on the ground over to first. The flip to the he's pitcher out. covering as that will retire the side. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Ninth inning coming up. Tulsa's out in front here. One to nothing. We got Trying one. Pick we got three plays we each. Off. Terrell Jarvis comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Come on, Rock Lines. Do something. And, one. and he gives this one a pretty good ride uh -oh. down the left field line. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. <clears throat> Little chopper back to the mound. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now that is second baseman. At the Denny plate, Denny Kirecki. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. Hit out towards second. Lopez ranging up the middle, and he'll get in there safely. Well, there's a one-out infield single, and you know what? You can start a lot of rallies with one out. He was hustling down the line. If you're pitching, you think, golly, that was so unlucky. Skied into very shallow right. Nixon is there, two gone. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Digging in, Andy Hale. No Andy hits in three tries Hale. so far. He struck out once. Guillen is there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. The Drillers lead it one to nothing. This is our last chance. If we don't win, stepping it, up now, the Matt McBride. Tulsa Drillers. Dan, will. what's gone Leading wrong for this lineup the today? They're only three After outs it. away from being shut Matt. out. Boy, you know, I just right. haven't seen a Come lot of rock fight in these at bats. We could do this. Plenty of credit Stand goes to strong. That pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Now a hard liner toward short. But oh. right there to glove it is the shortstop for the first out. Now batting. 
Digging in the switch hitter, Jimmy Comstock. First delivery to him on the way. Sliced hard on the ground. Bell is there. On to first, and they're in out away. Two gone uh. here in the ninth. Now batting, third baseman. Dang Settling it. in now, Carlos Reyes. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Drill Swing and a miss win on the pitch below one, the I knees. Imagine. One strike. Now the 0 1. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw in time. Yeah, the they won the over. series. Yeah, and we knew he was in a groove for the first inning, and he just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get anything going against him. A dominant performance with a complete game shutout. And that one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. The Drillers win this one despite banging out only two hits. Felix Guillen to settle with a loss after giving up only one earned. So that's a wrap here we tonight. Lost. Harold Reynolds, Dan Blizak, Matt Baskirchen, thanking drillers. you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night. Man. Schultz scores at the top of the six. One run, two hits. First for the victorious we have zero one runs run, and hits. eight hits. No errors. They left one man on base. Well, anyway, guys, the Rock Hounds are going to Frisco. <clears throat> we have a three-game series with the Frisco Rough Riders. And we'll have a three-game series with the San Antonio Missions. We will also be on our road trip. But those games will be announced in just a little bit. So, anyway. We will be right back to Minor League Baseball the show as we begin the first game of the three-game series against the visiting Frisco Rough Riders.